so before we start so i just wanted to give you the crux of solving let's say in an interview you are given any matrix problem right so the thing is whenever any matrix problem is given to you so how you are going to approach how you are going to think in that direction right because the thing is you'll hardly have around 5 to 8 minutes of time to think the interview the interviewer will give you around that much time correct so the thing is you need to think in that way so if you will be pre calculating stuff beforehand right if you know that in which direction you need to think that in then in the interview it will be easier for you guys to come up with a solution right so for that purpose like basically whenever any matrix problem is given to you right so any matrix problem can be divided into three parts is this powerpoint presentation visible to you guys uh, yeah awesome so any matrix problem it can be divided into three parts either it can be solved with the help of a logic based on the question that is there and the second part is on the basis of the breadth first search and the third is on the basis of depth first search so normally this breadth first search as well as the depth first search it's normally applicable on trees as well as graphs so i am going to definitely cover them in trees as well as the graphs when when we'll be covering that data structure but it is very much important for the matrix questions as well because let's say if i don't cover over here in matrix part right this breadth first search and the depth first search and let's say if i try to teach you over there itself and then give you one to two matrix problem then right then you guys won't be able to like correlate with this matrix questions right because since the matrix question i can only cover this logic based questions right that is for the matrix part and if i leave this breadth first search and depth first search for the later part then i think you guys will be having a little bit of trouble in basically thinking collectively so that's why i am teaching this breadth first search as well as depth first search in this matrix part as well and as well as when we'll be, when when we'll be covering trees as well as graphs i'll teach over there as well because the way that we are coding right it is little bit different for the matrix as well as for the trees or the graphs so that's why it is very important and the thing is this breadth first search and depth first search is very important and you guys is definitely going to encounter questions on the basis of breadth first search and the depth first search on the matrix part so today's lesson is very important because there are few more logic based questions that are there in the matrix which needs to be solved and once that is done right i'll move to the breadth first search by the end of the class today and then if time permits and i'll try to cover the depth first search otherwise in the next weekend i'm i'm going to cover the depth first search so these three topics these three parts are very important because whenever any matrix questions is given to you you can solve that question via these three techniques which i have stated over here so is my point clear till this point yeah perfect so yep so yesterday whatever questions we covered right it was on the basis of the logic based on question so whatever you will be given the questions right on the basis of that you need to think logically you don't have to apply breadth first search as well as the depth first traversal in that particular question correct it was on the basis of the logic i'm going to give you that technique that in which kind of a question you can apply breadth first traversal and which kind of a question you need to apply depth first traversal right because once you understand that part it will be easier for you to solve the problems at the time of interviews so yep so these are basically the three different techniques via which you can solve any matrix questions so let's start with today's first problem so this is the problem that we have so given a 2d integer array right which is nothing but a matrix of size n by n right you need to return the transpose of a matrix so the transpose of a matrix is the matrix that is flipped over its main diagonal switching the matrix rows and the columns indices so if you will see over here in this example right this 2 4 minus 1 this is the first row right after the transpose this becomes the first column 2 4 minus 1 now the second row minus 10 5 11 becomes the second column minus 10 5 11 and the third row 18 minus 7 6 becomes the third column 18 minus 7 6 so is the transpose Part clear to you guys? Yes. That's how yes. this trans how this transpose is happening. Perfect. So let's move to uh, the. I'll, I'm going to explain you the logic basically how we are going to think in this question. So today I have got this, so I can basically easily draw over here, and I can use the different colors as well, so that will be it will be easier for you guys to understand. i'm using a 4 by 4 matrix over here so that it will be more clear to you guys so this is the original matrix that is given to me right now the thing is when i'm doing the transpose of it So just I'm using T as transpose over here. So what will happen is now let me show you the logic. 
Ranjan, your voice is low. Hello, is it good now? Yeah, please now. Perfect. It's sometimes going uh, low. Uh, so, yeah, so I'm on my headphone today. I'm not on the speaker. So I think, is it fine now? Yes, yes, sir. It is. Awesome. So can you guys tell me what is going to be the transpose of this? What should I fill in the first column over here? Yeah, I think the row becomes column and column. Said, uh, what the transpose is. Right. So, yeah, so can you tell me what is going to be the first column in this transpose matrix? Excite minus 10, 15. 10, 15. Great job. Yep. In the second column? 25, 17. 25, 17, 16, 72. Yep, awesome. 5, and 0, minus the... 7, 18. Correct. 21, 56, 40, 99. Correct. So it's clear to you, to every one of you, right? You don't have any doubt at this point. Am I correct? Yes. Yep. Awesome. Yes. So now... So now if you will see over here, now I'm coming to the logic part. This is the diagonal of the matrix. So you guys, so this is the yellow dotted line which I have drawn, right? This is the diagonal of this matrix. So this part is clear to you now, right? This is the diagonal of this matrix which I have present, correct? So now right. the thing is, if you will notice over here, see, this eight that is present and this 25, these two are getting swept out in my final. Let me use a different color. So if you will see over here, this 25 and this 8, these, these two are getting swept out. Can you see this? This yes. minus 10 and this 5, these two values are getting swept out into my transpose matrix over the diagonal. This is my diagonal, correct? So if you will see, the diagonal element remains the same, right? But the thing is, so my diagonal element is remaining the same and after the diagonal element, right? So the values are getting swept out. So 5 and 10 got swept out, correct? Similarly, if you will see 21 as well as the 15 got swept out over here because it was 15 over here, it was 21, correct? So these two values are getting swept out. So similarly, if you will see 16 and 0 is present in the initial matrix and then in my transpose matrix, I'm having 0 and 16. These two values are getting swept out over the diagonal. So in order to find out the transpose of the matrix, what we need to do is we need to swap the elements over the diagonal. That means swap, let's say the array name is AIJ, right? Swap AIJ with AGI. Over the diagonal. So this is going to be the logic. So can you understand the logic why the example which I have shown you, right? So the diagonal element remains the same, right? And over these diagonal elements, if you will see this 40 as well as this 18, this gets swept out. This 56 gets swept out with 72. Correct? So is this part right. clear to you guys? Does anyone yeah. has any doubt over here? So I'm drawing the arrow also for you guys for the reference. Does anyone has any doubt in the logic of this problem that why we are basically swapping the value over the diagonal because the example which we saw right the diagonal element remains the same and it is over the diagonal element the array the aij element gets swapped with agi element and that too this is in place uh, what otherwise what you could have done is you could have used again an auxiliary array and the thing is but in that case the, can you tell me what is going to be the space complexity if you are going to use an extra auxiliary array O of MN. Yep, it's going to be O of MN. Yep, you're right. So that's why, but the thing is, that is one of the brute force approach, right? But the interviewer, they are going to ask you to come up with like in place uh, space complexity. So this approach is going we, over here. We are not using any extra space, correct? So that's why that space complexity in this case is going to be big O of one. Why? This is because we are not using any auxiliary array. In the given array only, we are using, uh, we are basically transposing the matrix. So is this part clear to you guys still here? Uh, Ranjan, how can yep. you transpose if uh, it is not, um, you know, like uh, if M, M by N are not equal? Sorry? 
so currently we have a four by four matrix, right? Yeah. The transpose yep, yep. will be four by four. But yep, if it is yep, a three yep. by four, then it will be four by three, right? Yep, exactly. So this, as you will see in the question, right? So they have mentioned that it is the square matrix that it is present. Uh, okay. Yeah. So for that reason, over here we are using this. We are uh, keeping the diagonal element. The diagonal element remains a fixed, right? That doesn't get swapped out, and then we are interchanging uh, the AIJ value with AGI value because those two values get swapped out. So this is so. If you will see this question's solution, right? So as I have stated you, so all the matrix problem is going to fall in one of these three buckets. Either it's going to be lo uh, solved logically on the basis of question. Either it is going to fall in the bucket of breadth first traversal, and the third it is going to be on the basis of depth first traversal. As well as there are different approaches that you can use for the logic based question. As I have shown you the example over here, right? One is auxiliary array. Yesterday we solved have we have solved one problem using auxiliary array, right? So this is one of the approach where you can use. Auxiliary array to solve the cost to solve the questions. The second is using the dynamic programming. We will solve one of the problems related to that. The third is using the flag variables. So in the matrix questions, sometimes you need to use flag variables as well. And the fourth option is like using two pointer approach because there are many approaches. I have given you some of the few examples that how basically you can come up with the logic based solutions. And these questions basically doesn't fall into a category for breadth first traversal as well as depth first traversal. These uh, these breadth first traversal and depth first traversal they have different kind of a questions. And I'm going to teach you the trick that how basically you can understand. Okay, this question is going to get solved with the help of breadth first traversal, and this question is going to get solved with the help of depth first traversal. Otherwise, if these questions doesn't fall into these categories, then definitely this needs to be solved with the help of the logic based questions, just like uh, this problem we solved, right? That how basically we are going to find the transpose of a matrix. So this question, obviously, you need to think logically. So the main logic over here is the diagonal element remains fixed, and we need to swap the array element AIJ with element AJI, and then we are going to find out the transpose of the matrix because you all know, right? The row and the column value gets interchanged. That's it. The first row becomes the first column. The second row. Becomes